Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Bun Single Serve Coffee Maker. It's called the My Cafe and it's part number MCU. So I really do like Bun products. This retails for $165. Okay, so the coffee maker comes with four of these trays. Now each tray serves a different purpose. This one is for K-cups. It's got a needle, you're gonna, it's gonna poke a K-cup down there and at the top. Here we've got one just for hot water. Here we've got one for coffee pods or tea, pot, tea bags. And then here we got one for ground coffee. This one works really well. You can put up to four tablespoons of ground coffee in there. So you can use your own coffee. So there's where the hot water comes out. There's the brew head. So it's very simple to operate. You're simply gonna put the water in. Whatever amount of water you put in, when you press the brew button, that's what it's gonna brew. And you've got these little steps up here, six all the way up to 14. Now, when you first get a bun, there is some setup work you gotta do. There's a holding tank in here that's gonna keep your water hot so that when you put the water in, it's gonna displace that hot water and it's ready to brew right away. So when you first get the coffee maker, you're gonna have to fill up that, that tank in the back and there's instructions that show you how to do that. Okay, so up here we've got two buttons. We've got a brew button, we've got this green light, this will also turn red, and we've got this pulse. The pulse is like a strong brew. So when I press that, it doesn't start the brew, but when I do a brew, it's gonna pulse the brew. And then when I press that, that starts the brew. So the manual shows a drip tray, but the drip tray is optional. Okay, so let's brew a cake up and see how it does. It's got this nice handle that lifts up. You're gonna put the cake up in and you gotta push down. Okay, so now we have to slide this on here until it clicks. Make sure it clicks or it will not brew. The red light will just flash and it won't brew. So my coffee maker is already set up. So now all you gotta do is pour the water in to the step you want. K-cups, I like to brew about eight to 10 ounces. And then simply just press the brew button. The light's gonna turn red. Now be ready because as soon as you press that brew button, it starts brewing right away. And it's coming out really hot, about 190 degrees. Okay, so it's done brewing. We end up with a very hot cup of coffee, 172 degree cup of coffee. So after it's done brewing, you're gonna notice that light turns red. That means that the water in the back is not heated up to the right temperature. Wait till that turns green. You'll hear it boiling that water in the reservoir in the back. That'll turn green and then you're ready to do a brew. Okay, so let's take the cake up out, see how it did. So the cake, I like how that lifts the tray up. It's all kind of a mechanism. So here's how it did. So you may have noticed water coming out in two spots. There's two holes. So there is a needle. The needle pokes the hole in the cake up and down at the bottom here, I had coffee coming out here and here. That's because the majority of the coffee is gonna come out here, but that needle doesn't seal all the way around this. So you're gonna get some water coming out around the needle, and that's what this other hole is for. So I had coffee coming out in two different holes. Okay, so it makes a really nice cup of coffee. Yeah, that tastes pretty good. Okay, so let's make a coffee with using re, uh, cake, um, coffee grounds. So this is really nice. Just put your finger right here. That's a little a tab right there to grab that. Now this lid doesn't come off. You've got a filter in the bottom and a filter here. So this filter on the bottom, I can take that out. Um, I don't take it out all the time, but if you press right there, there's that little filter. So that needs to stay in there all the time. Okay, so it does come with a scoop, but if you lose your scoop, it's one tablespoon. So you can put two normally is for like a single serve cup of coffee. That's what a K-cup holds. A K-cup holds two tablespoons of coffee. So if you put two tablespoons in here, you can brew about an eight, an eight ounce cup of coffee. But what's nice about this, this will hold four tablespoons of coffee. Gotta be careful, don't get it on the ledge there. Two. Again, let's put three in, but that's, a real, you can fill it all the way to the top, just you can't go over the top, and I kinda like, yeah, you gotta, gotta make there. There's four tablespoons. I kinda make it even. Close this. Now again, be careful, put it up here and make sure it snaps into place. Okay, so let's measure. So with the drip tray out, you can get almost a seven inch, not quite six and three quarters. 
I've got this Yeti 24 ounce. It fits in there just fine. And it is six and a quarter. Okay, so since I've got uh, two, four tablespoons of coffee in there, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this all the way up to the 14 ounce mark. Right there. And my, so I'm just gonna press the brew button. Again, be ready. As soon as you press that brew button, it starts brewing. There's the coffee coming out. So let's try to take a temperature of that coffee. About 192. Now again, I don't have to put four tablespoons of coffee in here. I could just do two tablespoons of coffee and brew it into an eight ounce cup of coffee. But this is a nice feature for using a travel mug. So this is just a really, really fast coffee maker. Okay, so we're done. There's our mug of coffee. So that ends up being really, really hot. 182 degrees. Wow. Okay, so let's take this off and see how it did. Now be careful. This could be hot or it will be hot. But there's how it brewed. I did not get any coffee grounds that came out around and into the coffee. They all stayed in there. Yeah, it looks like it got all the coffee grounds nice and saturated. Okay, so let's brew another K-cup. Let's use the pulse function, which is like a strong brew. Again, put your K-cup in there, and you're going to close this. Now, you have to pierce the needles because when you slide this in, it, it's going to slide in and click. Okay, so let's slide it in. Let's put our water in. Got my water in. Now you're going to select the pulse. The pulse does not start a brew, but it just lights the light. Now you still have to press the brew button. So what it's going to do is it's going to just, it's going to brew for a little bit, stop, brew for a little bit and stop. And so you're noticing coffee come out of both those holes. That's why it looks a little different than a normal curing machine. And, and so we know it's still brewing because this light is red. When this light goes out, that means the brew is over. Okay. So it's done brewing now and it's heating the water up and this will turn green once that water's hot. So I've been tasting the coffee out. It's really hot right now, but I've been tasting it with it on that pulse. It might taste a little bit stronger, but it's really hard for me to tell. Okay, so let's open it up, see how it did. There's the K-cup. So here's the one for tea leaves or a bag of tea you can put in here. Um, this again, this little filter does pop out, but it's just there for cleaning. It is plastic. You don't have, there's not much room. It has to stay below the shelf here because it has to slide in. So you don't have much room there. You know, you can only go down about oh, maybe just a little over a half inch by about an inch and three quarters. It also takes those, those, uh, coffee pods that are kind of like got the filter in them and they're flat. I've not seen those around here much but it also takes those coffee pods. And here's the hot water. You're gonna put this in here, hot water's gonna come straight out. Okay, so let's put the hot water one on. So with the hot water one on, you gain a little bit. You can go all the way up to a full seven inches now. Okay, so I put the water in. Let's, let's take the pulse, the pulse stays on. So let's deselect the pulse. And now let's shift it to brew and now it's gonna brew hot water. So again, it starts brewing. As soon as you press that button, it starts brewing. And be careful, that water is extremely hot. 184 coming out. So it looks like I did not get any flavor transfer. So there was, there was no flavor left over kind of in the brew head or nothing from the coffee. That tastes like just fresh water now. So I like that it comes with a very nice manual and the manual's got lots of pictures and it talks 
a lot about it and it's very descriptive all about it. The coffee maker is 60 hertz, uh, 1,400 watts. It does have high altitude programming that you can do. It says you're gonna push, push the pulse button five times in under 10 seconds. The indicator light will flash green five times indicating that the coffee maker is programmed for high altitude. And just repeat it. The indicator will, if you wanna go back out of high altitude, it'll flash red five times. That means you're out of high altitude. So it doesn't keep the water back there in the back tank hot all the time. It does have some energy savings uh, functions and the manual talks about them. So it says after six hours of idle, the temperature in the stainless steel tank, that's the tank inside the coffee maker, will drop to 140 degrees. So it'll take about one minute to get back up to the optimal brewing temperature of 200. After 26 hours of idle, it enters a sleep mode and it takes about two minutes to return to the optimal brewing temperature. And it talked about, so the way that you're gonna activate it is anytime, so say it's in sleep mode, you're not gonna press a button to wake it up. You're gonna put in a um, put in your pod or your tray, that's gonna wake it up and that's gonna turn red and then it'll turn green when the water's hot enough. So if you press the brew button and the indicator light flashes uh, green, that means you have not added water. And again, when you first unbox this, the button, the red around the brew button is gonna flash at you red. That means the internal uh, tank is not filled with water and you got to fill it up with water. So you're going to fill that up to the 14 ounce mark. Then you're going to put a cup down here that'll hold 14 ounces. Press the brew button. You may not get hardly anything out. And I would use the hot water uh, adapter. So you got to put the hot water adapter on. You may not get any hot water out, but do it again. After it's done brewing, fill it up to the 14 ounce mark again, hit the brew button. And now you should get the full 14 ounces out. Now your coffee maker is set up and ready to be used. Okay, so let's go over dimensions real quick. 12 inches tall. And front to back, you're looking at almost nine and a half inches, 10 inches. Left to right is seven and a quarter. It comes with a three prong cord and it's 36 inches long. Okay, so my final thoughts on this, it's a really nice coffee maker. So it's got that traditional bun, water reservoir in the back that's going to keep that water hot. You're going to have to keep on up on descaling because this thing's going to be heating water more than a typical coffee maker. So you are going to have to run vinegar through it once in a while to keep up on the descale. It does splatter a little bit, but it's extremely quick. It's extremely hot coffee. And there's very few out there that you can brew four, four tablespoons of coffee in a single serve coffee maker. So that's that's kind of a unique feature that's really nice. It does say these are dishwasher safe. These can be a little awkward cleaning I have found. And I know sometimes when I would poke a cake up, sometimes I do get uh, coffee grounds that come up through here, but it does seem to be okay. You just kind of wipe them off a little bit if you do get that, but I don't get that every single time. It, it comes with an excellent user manual. I'm very impressed with this user manual. It is step-by-step. -step. It's got troubleshooting. It's just very, very thorough. And again, it does those soft pods. I, I don't use those. Uh, that's what this is for, or tea leaves or tea bags. Um, I just don't, have never seen those like round disc coffee pods. It does seem to be a little bit on the hot. Now, it does seem like a quality coffee maker. It's $165. Um, you're really going to be, if you are a, you know, like a high usage single serve coffee maker, is that, if that's what you need, this one's going to serve you very well. I think bun coffee makers are always made very well. This one seems no exception. It seems sturdy. It seems well made. I'm not exactly sure how reliable it's going to be over the long run. But as long as you keep up on the descaling inside there, you know, it's, it's a very fast coffee maker. You know, to get a to get a middle of the road Keurig, you're looking at about a hundred bucks. That, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, the buns probably made a little bit better than the Keurig, but the Keurigs are just as fast and make just as hot a coffee that tastes just as good. But where the bun, where this one excels, is being able to put four tablespoons of coffee into this. This is, again, this is a really nice feature and it works very well. A reusable K cup on a Keurig can only hold two tablespoons of coffee which is good for a single uh, eight ounce cup of coffee, but not for like big travel mugs. So if you could hit the thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. I, I will put a link to this in the show description notes. Um, 
If you hit the subscribe button, you'll get notified whenever I release new coffee maker videos. Again, I'm doing coffee maker, kind of uh, vacuum cleaners. This is my full-time job now, and I'm really happy with it, and I'm really excited about what the future holds, and I just really appreciate everybody's support. So again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.